the target. Uh, and then from there, you can compare the treatment group with the control and to see if uh, the vaccine is effective. So what I can tell you is that the, uh, the glycoserious glycans are cancer specific. And they are only found on cancer cells, not on normal cells. So they are a good target for vaccine design. Of course, they are also a good target for antibody and also for the small molecule inhibitors like beta-3 or GALT5. And uh, more than 15 different type of cancer can be uh, uh, used for the treatment. So the first generation of global edge vaccine was developed by Denisowski at the Memorial Sloan. And in phase one, it was shown to be mainly IgM, but it has a CDC activity there. So it's, a, it's not a long-term, has no long-term memory, but uh, it's effective. Uh, and the second generation is the one I just mentioned. It's designed for uh, long-term memory and with the IgG response. Uh, but this one has gone from phase one to phase two and phase three. And, and the result, phase three in Taiwan was just uh, disclosed. And it shows very effective uh, if the patient has a immune response uh, to the vaccine. And, and I think this probably is uh, much more long lasting and could be very effective for early stage or even for preventive purpose, yeah. So these are all what I uh, want to share with you and just want to uh, thank the people involved in the work uh, in the old days. Uh, uh, these are the people at Squid. Uh, particularly, I want to thank <laughs> uh, Timo and uh, Ezra for their contribution. Uh, Timo was involved in the, the programmable uh, one-part uh, synthesis. And most of the work I talk about today was done at the Academia Sinica. And particularly, I want to thank uh, uh, Eric Ma and Zhong Yi Wu and Eric Yu for uh, the collaboration on the glycan array and the vaccine design. So it takes uh, so much time to share with you about most recent uh, results in our laboratory. And thank you very much for your <laughs>